A state all too familiar with the destructive nature of hurricanes is helping Texas with its search and rescue operations. Officers from the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission deployed to Houston on Monday. This comes just days after the Sunshine State marked the 25th anniversary of Hurricane Andrew. As Marina Pornaya reports, the damage caused by Harvey is drawing attention to flooding concerns in Miami. This was my walk to work on August 1st when Miami endured four hours of thunderstorms. In the busy downtown Brickell district, cars stalled on every block. Streets turned into rivers, pedestrians were left stranded, and drainage failures were put on display like never before. In Miami Beach, a power outage knocked out the anti-flooding stormwater pumps, which are not equipped with backup generators. Experts say stormwater flooding will worsen unless Miami's poorly designed and outdated infrastructure is updated. With the elevated sea, we have less, uh, you know, less uh, freeboard for our infrastructure, our roads from the existing sea level. So what happens is whenever we have heavy rainfalls, there is little room for our uh, for draining the excessive excessive rain and that causes flooding. And the, the higher the sea uh, level becomes, the more dire this situation will be. Miami has already spent an estimated $500 million to fight rising sea levels. Meanwhile, some experts say massive construction projects underway throughout the city exacerbate the flooding because land where water could previously drain has been paved over and made impermeable. A $2.8 million pumping station is currently under construction in Miami's Brickell neighborhood. City engineers say it should be operational in September the peak of hurricane season. Those pumping stations are temporary solutions. So they are not meant to, to solve the problem forever. They are meant to just prevent the very immediate impacts of uh, the nuisance flooding caused by sea level rise. Last week, Florida marked the 25th anniversary of Hurricane Andrew. The Category 5 monster made landfall in South Florida, destroying more than 63,000 homes, claiming 65 lives and costing $26 billion in damages. Today, 145 officers from Florida's Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission are in Texas supporting search and rescue operations. While Houston continues to feel the brunt from Harvey, concerns are rising that Miami could be next. Marina Portnaya, RT.